I never try to hide my menstrual cycle from my kids, and it's probably because I grew up with a mom who was very open about when she was on her period and spoke to me about the cycle in a very matter-of-fact way. But not everybody grew up like this. Some of y'all have reached out to me saying that you grew up in an environment where your parents really didn't speak about it and it was almost kind of hidden, and so now you're not really sure how to bring it up or how to have the period talks with your own kids. To a prepubescent kid, teenagers are cool. Grown-ups are cool. And adult things are cool. Young kids look up to us. They look forward to being able to be independent and do things on their own. For example, losing their baby teeth and getting adult teeth is exciting. It's a step, one of many steps on their way to adulthood. Learning about menstruation as something that will also signify that they're on their way to adulthood can be very exciting for them. They will most likely be very interested in all the facts surrounding menstruation because they're curious. And although it's not something that will happen to them right now, it will happen to them eventually. And it's in our human nature to be more interested in something that will actually happen to you. Here are the basics of menstruation 101 that you can share with your intermediate age kid. I'm Kathleen and I make videos for parents on how to have the modern day sex talks. What is menstruation? Also known as a period, it is when the lining of the uterus breaks down and leaves the body through the vagina. This blood and tissue built up in the uterus in order to prepare for a fertilized egg. And if no fertilized egg arrives, the uterine lining breaks down and the person will begin their menstrual cycle, also known as their period. An individual with a female reproductive system. It will start during puberty, and this is when your body will begin to grow and develop into an adult. This can occur at different times for everybody, but on average, a person with a female reproductive system will begin menstruating between the ages of 9 and 15, and then they will stop menstruating sometime between the ages of 45 and 55. There are many different ways that a person can collect the menstrual blood, and the most common ways are a pad, tampon, period underwear, as well as cups. Now you can choose to show them your preferred method of collection, but don't forget to share with them the range of methods that are available. If you can spare a few minutes the next time you're in a supermarket, take some time and go through the hygiene product section. My kids loved looking at all the different options and asking me questions about the different products. The majority of menstruators experience symptoms as their body begins to prepare for menstruation. Talk about the variety of symptoms. Talk about the symptoms that you experience, as well as the most common symptoms. Explain that these symptoms can occur before a person gets their period, as well as while they are menstruating. Talk about PMS and let them know that there have been a lot of negative associations around a person's behavior and getting their period. You can say something to the effect of, in the past, there was not a lot of information made available about menstrual symptoms. And because each person experiences symptoms differently, menstruators who experienced symptoms that affected their behavior sometimes would be made fun of and judged because of their menstrual symptoms. We now know more about how the human body works and that a person's menstrual cycle impacts their hormone levels, and therefore it may impact their behavior. So it's never okay to make fun of someone because of their menstrual cycle. Because I never hide when I get my period, my kids are fascinated around the whole cycle process of menstruation. I've explained the whole 28 day cycle and how I use a calendar to predict when I'll get my period. My daughter became so inquisitive about it that it just became easier to track my cycle on the family calendar. At first I was like, this is a little TMI for the family calendar that also tracks like who's picking up the kids on which day from the after school activities. But then my daughter noticed that I would be on my period during a family holiday, and she expressed concern and hope that I wouldn't experience menstrual symptoms that made me feel unwell. I mean, bless her little empathetic heart. One of the things that I will do with my kids at some point during the intermediate age years is making a cycle bead bracelet. It's really a simple way to discuss the phases of the menstrual cycle and how to track one cycle in a different way. I mean, they'll probably use a period tracker app once they get a phone, but while they are phoneless, this will be a simple way to continue the talks and do an activity together. 
If you want to know how I made my cycle bracelet, it's in the description below. And shout out to my friend Megan, who shared the directions on how to make a cycle bead bracelet with me. I hope this video helps you in feeling more comfortable to talk about menstruation with your kid. And if you want to have a conversation with your non-menstruator about menstruation, you can check out this video. If you found this video to be helpful, go on and give it a like. I'm Kathleen, and I'll be back next week with another video.